Hello everyone, Legend of Eon here, and I have for you guys a Blue Red Trunks deck that I played for the ARG February 17th. And before I get into the deck profile, I want to give a shout out to my boy Adrian, who went undefeated. And my other friends who were also there, Orlando, Alec, Elvis, Isaac, Charles, and Rigo. Thanks to them, I was able to test play before the event and understand what I wanted to play in the deck. So thanks you guys so much. <laughs> And I also want to thank everyone who also showed up for the ARG. It was super fun. And I actually got super lucky too. <laughs> Alright, so with my Trunks deck, I got second place. I got the mat and the packs, the uh, invite to the Philadelphia ARG. We, got, we also got the top 8 pin, which is super sweet. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the deck profile. Whoa! So, for our leader, we play Trunks. <laughs> Pretty obvious. During our turn, when we combo with co energy costing two or more, we draw a card. And then when we have four or less life, we may draw two cards and then flip this card over. So, it's the same auto as the front. Whenever we combo during our turn, we get to. That costs two more, we get to draw a card. And then when this card attacks, you draw a card. So, I try to combo with like combos and stuff like when we're test playing like I can't draw cards <laughs> so really nice to note really nice to note so that's our leader that we're playing so this ARG we weren't able to sideboard it was game best of one so you literally ha had one try and that was it so all right we're playing four boost attack piccolos everyone should be playing their 10k free boost when you have four less life Obviously, for your specific colors of your leader. Weezus Coercion. Just negates. <laughs> Ultimate. Jockos. I was running three and then realized that this card is just super nice. Being able to balance a combo card. It's it's really good. It's really good. Sensu Beans are super clutch. Mainly, I, I think I've only used this card defensively, if anything. Just to be able to untap and then use a 10k to combo so it's not a bad card it's really good so i was running this card at four and then soon realized that it's not all that great late game it's better early game mid game because you're able to just kind of control the board a little bit and kind of have your opponent waste their their cards their battle cards to attack or use their combo cards or whatnot to try to kill this it's really nice but late game is just not, it's it's kind of clocky in a way because you don't really do anything with it. It's more of a, a defensive card, but it's still really good though. Two results of training because with the trunks we're able to draw a whole bunch of cards and uh, usually we'll see results. But when we have results in our first hand, we just want to keep it because we can't combo with it later in the game. So it's still really nice against the stall deck. Further instruction Chompers are <laughs> kind of like mysterious, they're like, they're kind of there and then Tempest not there and like you see it, I don't know, every time I played with these, like I've always saw it at the right time, because like when, when you're attacking with the leader, they're not thinking, oh, it has double strike, it's, it just has single strike or whatever, and so you attack with it and they're like, alright, no block, then you just go, alright, double strike, combos, let's go, so it's really nice. On to the Mighty Mask engine. We run three Mighty Mask. I was running at four, but then soon realized that I don't really do anything else other than after I use it like once or twice, that's pretty much it. I don't ever use it more than that. And so I just use it as a combo card or energy, so it's not bad. And also it just cuts for more space to add other stuff to. Leap to the future Sun Go. Uh, Leap to the future Sun Go 10, sorry. Uh, mainly we just use this card to for, for energy, pretty much. We don't want to use anything else for energy, but, um, so. Sun Goten, Family of Justice, just get against the free body cards to know when they combo and then gets a 15k out on the board for free. Yeah, <laughs> this card's really good against that. And it's just good against like, anything else too, like blockers and whatnot, uh, small blockers. I mean. So yeah, really nice. Unyielding Spirit Trunks, just to be able to untap any color of mana. Really nice. Cyan Kaba. Pretty much we have six cards that allows us to awaken 
we have the two result of training and then this the four cyan cabas. So like if our opponent attacks us and they usually puts us to five life, like kinda of like an awkward and then try to double strike us and put us to three, so it's really nice. But usually they put us to five and then we can just cyan kaba. So unless they have Mahubas, oh well. Miraculous Comeback Ultimate Gohan. This card is actually I actually use this card once. Um, yeah, I just like kind of dump my hand to combo, and then I play this guy and attack one of their, their, their boos. <laughs> it's actually a really good card, but it's usually I'm drawing way too many cards to even play this guy, so it's just once in a while. Yeah, it's just there just in case. Energy boost Beerus, really nice. I think this card kind of helps like newer players and even older players too, like uh, people who have been playing a, a while for a while. That's kind of what I meant. When you play this card and you have five or more energy, you could do pretty much KO any battle card that could be KO'd. And then this kind of like, if you think about it, right, you don't want to play it for at four when you have four energy. You want to play it when you have five. For one, it's really good because you have that one energy to either have to use for Sensu Bean or for Negates, which is really smart. Like, the, you should never tap out <laughs> on your like, effort. So, and this is like early in the game or something. So, but late game, yeah. <laughs> Three Jiren Fist of Justice or Jiren, however we want to pronounce it. I think this card is really nice. It just gets rid of the blockers. It you know just attacks other battle cards that are just super annoying out there. So you know these both kind of do the same thing. We don't, we can't run Kale because Kale's green, but these guys are still really nice. Time Portal Trunks. So we run five Overarm cards. Uh, three of them being Time Portal Trunks. For one, when we combo, we mainly use this card to, to just add more cards in our hand. So we draw the card for the turn, and then say if our, our leader's awakened, right? We draw the card for the turn, we play this card, we, we get another card to add our hand. We attack, we auto draw a card, and then we combo with this card. So we pretty much drew four cards in that one turn. Our opponent kind of can almost do the same thing too, but with our trunks because we're able to combo and stuff. So it's really nice. Yeah, really, really nice. The, other side of this card is like it there's nothing bad about it like I feel like you should play four but I think four is a lot because we are overwhelming a lot but the thing is that you can put the other card in your hand and then the other card on top or the bottom so like if you had two piccolos for whatever reason like you had the two piccolos or you could put one of them in your hand and then one on top which is super nice so yeah well and then last but not least the uh, masked Saiyan the mysterious warrior so this guy is super, super awesome. This guy is like, just comes out of nowhere. He's so good. So what I was running them before, I was running the Miras, the, the, the cost four, and then Overrealm, yeah, Overrealm for four. So yeah, <laughs> pretty much. So like it, yeah, it was just, it was crazy. Like the other one, it didn't really do a whole lot, but because it just had critical and that was it, but this guy just, it's a mini kill pretty much for one mana. <laughs> this is just so crazy. And double strike. So, yeah. Since we, since the games were best of one, we weren't able to sideboard or anything. So, we just had this deck and that was it. <laughs> so, um, I actually got super lucky because in one of the games, when my opponent had critical and I wasn't paying attention, <laughs> I know. I'm a scrub, and I took it from my life and added it to my hand, and that's pretty much an irreversible game state. I thought I was just like shuffling hands and stuff, and then I didn't realize that it was critical. So we called the judge over. I called the judge over, and uh, I I swear I I was gonna lose. Like I was like, all right, he won the game because pretty much what I did was illegal. So the judge was looking up the rulings, and eventually we were able to find. A ruling where it was um, repairable where I had to reveal my hand and then my opponent gets to choose whatever card they want and send it to the drop area so we were able to fix it so I was like whoo I got super lucky on that so that's kind of what I meant when I got super lucky so yeah anyway that is the deck that I played thank you guys so much for watching I know I just kind of like rant and stuff but all right let me know what you think in the uh, comments below all right bye